with having done this mixture here now, now I'm basically going to hold my brush with three fingers because I don't want to put a lot of pressure on my brush. So I'm going to, I'm going to come, I'm not going to be flat, I'm not going to be up on the edge, I'm going to canter to somewhere around 25, 30 degrees, and I'm going to make a light scribble. Now, this is too much pressure, but a light scribble like this in a diagonal direction. A light scribble, you see that? All right, now, I go back and reload my brush. I'm going to go a light scribble in this direction. And why am I being so light? I'm being so light because I want a bird to be flying along and, ah, I can go land there with a ga without getting my neck broken. All right? So I come in here, and this is my number two this is my number two color. This is my number two value. And I'm going to come down this way a little bit further. Okay? Now there's my number two. So now I need to decide where's my light source coming from. So there is my light source. <laughs> so now how do I, what do I do now? Well, I'm going to take a little bit more burnt sienna off to the side, a little bit more green off to the side. And I don't want this to be too bluish green, so I'm going to use enough of the burnt sienna and a little touch of raw sienna light. My lower left is going to be catching shadow. So now, I've already told you, we've already seen some of the forms developing here. The upper right is going to be catching light. That means lower left. Now, I'm going to be a little more intentional with my brush strokes. I'm going to be a little lighter, and on the bottom and the left-hand side of some of these forms, thinking in terms of where would I see shadow. Now I'm going to a little bit more of a brush stroke, a little bit more of an intentional brush stroke here. I'm still kind of a do, doing a bit of a scribble, but I'm, I've transitioned to a little bit more of a brush stroke there. Okay? Now, I want it a little darker right here, so I'm going to take a little bit more of that burnt sienna. This is the underside of my tree. A little bit darker. And this can be going back that direction some. Now, I'm going to wipe off the excess off my paintbrush. Now I've got this pool over here. Now for the first time I'm going to take some white, yellow ochre, and I'm going to take a little bit of this emerald green, and maybe a touch of orange. And this is just, a, now this is just the beginning phases here. Now where's the best place to test that light color? Best place is somewhere around the center of the tree. I want this to be a li I want it to be lighter. That's not light enough yet. So I'm going to go with more white. I take a little bit of my green, I mean my yellow up here, a little bit of that emerald, touch of yellow ochre. Get it a little bit lighter, a little bit more intense. Now I'm going to a slightly different stroke, which is more of a stroke that's still not the color I want. So, more white, more of the green here, and I'm going to dip down into that pool. I'm not going to try to make the whole pool the color I'm after. I'm off to the side here, and I think I'm going to be much happier with this. A little bit. Yeah, because of the white background, I'm having, having difficulty here. Now, up on the corner of my brush that has no corners, I'm 
mainly on the upper right portions of this foliage. Now we're starting to get what we're after. And now if I wanted to, I can take some white, a little bit of this yellow, and I can put some grass in here, and next thing you know, you've got a tree. Now, I have not put any of the structure of the tree in there. Thinking of trunks, limbs, and branches. Well, we can do that at any time. Now, there's other colors we are going to put in here, but this is where we start. Okay? This is where we start. So, with that being said, uh, we are going to be practicing that stroke a number of times. So what we're going to do now is we take, uh, we're going to take our palette knife and we're going to scrape this off. And what's going to happen here is when we clean this off, we have a lovely thing happen. We end up with a beautiful stain that we can work on. I'm using mineral spirits as my solvent. Now we're going to go through a lot of paper towels. But that's good enough now so I can do another practice one. You, you don't put a lot of pressure on the brush. Okay, basically holding it with three fingers and start with a diagonal stroke. And it's a scribble. It's a scribble where you're not using a, a two-inch scribble stroke, and you think in terms of diagonals. And you're not putting so much pressure that you're covering every square centimeter of your, of your tree. Okay? We're just, now, again, this is just to get us started. Just to get us started. So think in terms of the diagonals. Instead of vertical or horizontal arms and legs. All right? So go to work.